Hi, I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. So today I want to ask you a question. It's one of those hard questions that we really don't want to necessarily talk about, but we do have to at some point confront in our own lives. And the question is, why not start decluttering your home now so your kids and your family don't have to deal with it after you're gone? So if you've ever lost a parent, um, a significant other, or a loved one, you may have had to deal with um, not only cleaning out their home and all the things that they had collected and accumulated over many years, but you might also have had to prepare the home for selling. So all of this, while you might have still been mourning their loss, and while managing your own life, your own schedule, your own household, kids, and so forth. Cleaning out a house of a loved one is, um, it's not easy. Um, it's definitely emotional and it's hard to throw out stuff that you know meant something to them at some point. You feel guilty, you feel overwhelmed, and you feel that loss of them even more as you're going through all of their different things. So how can you prevent your kids and your loved ones from having that same heartache, that same overwhelm that you might have experienced yourself while cleaning out your own parents' home? So if you are a baby boomer or if you're in midlife, you've heard the importance of getting your affairs in order. And that typically relates to your finances, your insurance, your wills, and so forth. But getting your home and your stuff in order is equally as important, yet it's one of those things that's often overlooked and put on the back burner for someday um, you'll get to it. So I would just encourage you to strongly consider organizing and decluttering your belongings sooner than later while you're still able to do it before it's too late, before something happens and your kids are end up having to do exactly what you did and we're wishing you didn't have to. So perhaps you've heard of the book, um, The Art of Swedish Death Cleaning by Margareta Mag uh, Magnusson. I know it's kind of an awful title, but her method of decluttering your stuff before you die is actually a very compassionate um, way of intentionally letting go of your belongings that may have been important to you at one point, but they're no longer. They don't have meaning. You may not use them. You may not even want them anymore. So there's a number of reasons why you should start decluttering and de and, and, and de organizing and organizing your possessions now versus waiting. Um, so the first one is that you actually have an opportunity to ask your kids and your family um, what they might want or not want. Um, it's an opportunity for them to say yes or no to anything that you might offer them. And our harsh reality as baby boomers is that our kids are living in smaller spaces. Um, likely they will never accumulate or consume and collect as much as we did. So as hard as it may be for us to accept, our kids really don't want our stuff. So isn't it better to ask them, to give them the chance to say yes or no? And isn't it better for you to know, to know that so that you can begin letting go of the stuff that you might not want to throw out because you think that they might want it or need it? And it will also give you great pleasure in knowing that the pieces that they do want um, will actually be used. So knowing that something ha um, was meaningful to you at one point and now has meaning to them, um, it gives great joy. So recently I gave my niece um, our mother's uh, nativity set. It was a Hummel crush set that we purchased when we lived in Europe. And I know that today she's displaying it proudly and will continue that as a custom. And that just makes me happy, just remembering that and thinking about that. So, so letting go of the things that we no longer want or need um, 
those possessions, it's, it's actually a gift that you can give, not just yourself, um, but for those that you leave behind. So the benefit of deciding um, to declutter and organize and get your affairs in order now is that it's a compassionate way to save them the hard work and the heartache after you're gone. It also allows you to um, enjoy lightening up to living with less so you can um, have a clutter-free life, less stress, less overwhelm. And it also allows you to focus more on what matters most to you. You know, and certainly having to manage and take care of all of those extra things um, lightens it up and gives you more time for what matters. So for all of the excess stuff that you keep holding on to, thinking either that you might want it or need it someday, why not give yourself permission to let go of those, those things and choose to live a simpler, more abundant life with less? So I hope this helps. If you are considering decluttering or downsizing, um, we do have over 400 blogs on my website, Rita Wilkins at RitaWilkins.com. Everything to do with decluttering, downsizing, lifestyle design, and also interior design. So you are welcome to go to the website and, and look at any one of those. And there's a number of free downloads. And then also, if you prefer to have a 30-minute complimentary consultation about um, decluttering or anything like that, um, please go to my website and sign up for, um, for a scheduled time that we can talk. I hope this helps. Have a good night.